It's been thought that a single particle cannot be observed without destroying it by the simple act of observation. David Wineland and Sergei Hiroche, optics specialists, worked independently trapping particles at temperatures close to absolute zero to examine the quantum state for the first time. Their research has already been used by other scientists to create an incredibly accurate way to measure time. The scientists cite many other applications for quantum research, including quantum computing, code breaking, and more accurate GPS. Also noticeably, this year's Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to stem cell researchers John Gurdon and Shinya Yamanaka. Washington State University scientists have developed a drug that restores neuronal connections in the brain that could restore cognitive function to people with Alzheimer's disease. Led by Joe Harding and Jay Wright, WSU researchers modified a blood pressure chemical and designed a drug that is 10 million times stronger than the chemical that is found naturally to promote new synapse formation called brain-derived neurotrophic factor or BDNF. The drug is so powerful that even old rats were nearly instantly able to accomplish a cognitive task like they were young again. Harding says, quote, same thing every time. These results suggest that dihexa or molecules like it may have applications in other neurodegenerative diseases or brain traumas where neuronal connections are lost. Freezing water droplets have been shown to form mountain-like peaks and spout crystals resembling trees since water expands as it freezes. These images show approximately 4 millimeter diameter water droplets as they freeze over 20 seconds. Once the water is frozen, the tip attracts water vapor in the air, causing the crystals to grow on the surface like a scenic hill with a tree and plant life. McGill University and the Douglas Institute have announced the findings of a biological process that embeds social experience and brain DNA. In childhood, social experiences have been shown to change the way the methyl group are marked. Adversity in childhood has also been shown to affect the same group of genes. McGill professor Moshe Sif says, quote, This study provides strong evidence of a biological process that embeds social experience in DNA in the brain that affects not just a few genes, but entire networks of genes. We highlighted the immense importance of the social environment during childhood and illustrated the profound consequences of child adversity on the way our DNA is programmed. Because of our new findings, we have a broader understanding of how to prevent and treat mental and physical health challenges. Humans and birds may not be alone in the ability to learn songs. A new study by Duke University has shown that mice not only sing ultrasonic songs, but they learn and sing new songs to court mates. However, scientists say further research is necessary to learn whether the mice are simply matching the pitch of other mice or if other features of vocalization are involved. This discovery also begs for further research into the vocal abilities of mice with autism spectrum disorders and possible treatments. Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory scientists were surprised to find that alongside gravity, plasma's electromagnetic properties may help explain the formation of solar systems and other astrophysical bodies. Counterstreaming ionized gas was found to amass coherently on its own, as shown in the image, forming large-scale electromagnetic fields. Lawrence Livermore team lead, Hai Suk Park, says, quote, This observation was completely unexpected since the plasmas move so quickly that they should freely stream past each other. The team uses laser-driven plasma experiments to study the microphysics of plasma interaction and structure formation in order to learn more about astrophysical objects that are not able to be measured directly. The University of Dundee has discovered an autoimmune enzyme that could be useful in the treatment of chronic inflammatory diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis and, and psoriasis. Macrophages are immune system cells that defend the body against disease and clear dead cells from the system. They signal the need for your body to produce inflammatory defenses when a threat is detected or signals the body to kick into anti-inflammatory mode when the coast is clear. An enzyme called SIK has been discovered to help suppress the production of anti-inflammatory molecules. Chronic inflammatory diseases could therefore be alleviated by turning off the function of SIK within the cell. Researchers found that afterward, they were able to spur the production of beneficial anti-inflammatory molecules to help patients. Research led by Yale University students indicates that a planet twice the size of Earth orbiting a nearby star may be made entirely of diamond. The planet, 55 Cancri, has a radius twice that of Earth's and a mass eight times greater. It whips around a star in 18 hours, making a day on Earth longer than a year on 55 Cancri. It's also almost 4,000 degrees there, so Lil Wayne and Dr. Evil will have to put any plans to nab it on ice.